Welcome back to the Chill Sounds and Breakdowns podcast. We have another episode for you this week, uh, episode 37. 37 we're at. Crazy, All right. right? All right. Uh, and I am super excited today because I actually just get to pretty much just come hang out with one of my friends and just... Have one of the regular conversations that we normally have, to be honest with you. That's all it's going to be. But today with me, I have Puga. What's going on? What buddy? up, what up, what up? Lucky number 37. 37. Actually. You add them up, you get 10. Okay. Oh. Mm. We click That's how you on get, it. That's how you we get the magic numbers. Well, I'm going to take it. It's going to be my lucky number. I'm going to put it on. I like 37 for like, I don't know. I don't know how long that's going to be, but 37 for as long as it works. Thanks. Thanks. It's a privilege. It's a privilege, an experience already. And um, if anything, a celebration of so many things that I've heard you talk about. Yeah. And, and, and appreciate it from like the perspective of all the way from where I am in my little corner. And so, I don't know. This well, is I feel cool. like you've got to hear me talk about it like from its conception to like now you know what i mean like when like hey i think i have this idea and I'm like, Go! <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much it's always like yeah do it like yeah that's great and then um it, a lot of people don't realize that a lot of this effort comes from like tiny little bits of encouragement from like everywhere and then you were definitely one of those that i kept coming back when i like had a little bit of doubts and like talking to people and stuff like that and you're like it, it was always it's always not a simple like road to it but it's always a simple answer like to these things and I, I like how you kind of help me put a lot of stuff in perspective a but- lot of times it's it's you're right the word perspective you killed it <laughs> you killed it it's it's when you get to step back and give it to like a friend that i don't know i think i, I can like expand the map like the, a little bit a little bit mm-hmm. because i could see you from like the loving eyes of a tia <laughs> 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 i've just I, I bless myself with being a tia but um and then when we see it that way, you're mm-hmm. like, it, it's not necessarily like even like, oh, you got to go this way or you got to go that way. It's like seeing it and just like, bro, look at where you are. Yeah. Like, you're doing some <laughs> look. And, and, and it's super, super cool to like watch you just continue to fucking run. And, yeah. and anyway, again, privilege. Hi. Yeah. I, I, I feel like you are definitely like one of like my inspirations for like working hard. Like I, have, I definitely have a few, but, and just like one working hard, but also, balancing that out with paying attention to like yourself and your body and like what's making you happy at the time and i know like from experience that you've like dealt with that you know what i mean like even like before um you were telling me how you were you know working uh i don't know more than 12 hours a day and just like wearing yourself thin because that was at the time that was like your goal that was just like i need to work that was that was the thing to do yeah. That was what people expected, right? Like everyone's like, "Well, that's what you do," and I'm like, "Yep, that's what I'm. I'm a barber. I wear this badge. <laughs> I am this." And and it and it. But there was like so many things that yeah, like I had to like, all of a sudden realize now I'm a human. Yeah. And and started working for things that I actually wanted to create. Mm-hmm. You have been running parallel with that change, <laughs> right? Like I think like it's like holding hands and just like. Go. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 that's the cool thing. Like whenever I started shedding all of the belief of what I had to do as opposed to like, oh, what I get to do, mm-hmm. what I want to do, what I want to create, like working with people who I want to work with. Um that right there has been. And again, I think it's 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 parallel. I think it's it's been super cool I, watching us. I feel like people like must have thought that was such a like radical concept at the time when you were like, "Oh, I'm just working with people that like i want to work with <laughs> and i'm sure like people lost their shit <laughs> they hated it. They hated it. like like and then some people are just offended right and i'm yeah. like i mean it's it does it make sense like i and at this point now let's break it down to making it sense right mm-hmm. like the the concept of just let's try to make it make sense i'm like i don't want to touch physically touch mm-hmm. anyone i don't want to yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> and so but but it's not that i'm like vetting people like so hard either but mm-hmm. it's just like be a good person be yeah. a good vibe um and mind you also thank you for all of those amazing people that have followed me throughout my own journey and those amazing people have actually al- appreciated me as i'm going through my changes yeah a lot of them i didn't have to fire a lot of them i did not have to break up uh, for them it just wasn't consistent and mm-hmm. that's okay <laughs> yeah because i also get to consistently be the human consistently be the human and trust in that and trust that it's going to be okay, too. And so, mm-hmm. I don't know, the, the relationship with work and stuff, it, it changes everything. And again, it's belief in 
going towards the things that you want to do. I keep mm. looking at your computer and I'm like, we're doing it. <laughs> it's we're happening right now. We're doing it. I was scared of like the points of references that I was going to grab like yeah. for the interview. I was like, oh God, I can see myself. <laughs> and then just this is like the most comforting, like OC's doing his thing. Like, it's like, happening. It's right here. This is actually the frame that's right there yeah. is the frame I get, right? And I'm just like, ah. anyway, I'm happy. That is kind of funny because like you're actually like, Saw like me set up and like everything and do like it's like oh like I felt like you were like this so this is how it happens like <laughs> that's, that's, he does it he does it it's it's I don't know you're impressive always <laughs> thank you see that's see that's the type of energy you need to keep around yourself and that's I mean as like jokingly as that it is like that that is some like a lesson a big lesson that I've learned um, with the people that with like anything you're doing in life but recently with all the projects that i've been working on and just in general like it just has felt better if the right type of people like are next to you and not and it's not people it's always people who are challenging you um on what you're like not not agreeing with everything you do like because we've had like we've definitely had our like moments where um we've both had like different types of opinions and ideas on stuff. And the good thing about like, I feel like you and I, and like uh, among the other like people that I have in my life is that we are not closed off to listening to that idea. Like immediately, like if, if someone like, uh, cause there's been a few moments where you like flip an idea on myself and I'll just be like, Hmm. And immediately like, I don't take it all in yet, but I take a second to pause. I'm like, all right, let's see. Let's see where this goes, like, or let's see what's going on here. Before, like, I before I immediately reject it, and I feel like in the past I've I've been the type of person who, if it's not uh, in a line with what my mind is telling me, like immediately, like I'm I'm not gonna listen not to it. Not part of it. And then and then I end up seeing like that same concept that someone was trying to explain to me flourish in something else, and I'm like, oh, okay, Damn. so <laughs> I <am laughs> like I missed that. <laughs> I missed that opportunity. But like keeping the right set of company just goes along with that kind of like model that you were doing it's just again you want to feel great when especially like at a place you dedicate like a lot of your time to you know what i mean like it's you want to make sure that the people that you're around with not only like who you're working with but who you actually bring into like your you know your space as as you say this it's it's absolutely important right Mm -hmm. important your environment your energy environment and and it's so important and and as you're saying it i'm also like reviewing the people around me right and I'm like fuck I'm tired <laughs> and then I think about it and as you're saying it you're it's 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 detrimental and keep those people around how how be that person mm-hmm. be that person furiously as most as you possibly can yeah be that person because a lot of times we we're we don't know mm-hmm. we anyway I'm that one. But no. as we say it, like, yeah, it's detrimental. And I was like, how do we keep those people around? Because I'm, uh, you're saying it like we need um, uplifters. We need we need encouragers. And immediately I'm like, I got a whole lot of doubters. <laughs> and, and, but that's the, also, those are the challengers. Mm-hmm. Those are the challengers. Yeah. Those are the challenges, you know? And, and so that's where we grow even the most. You got doubts? You had doubts? And so, yeah, like, yeah. And, and, and that's, that's, that's a fire. But then you also get to see who you get to be for those people mm-hmm. and how you're going to run it. And, and, and sometimes, yeah, you want to vet some people out. And so it, it, how this conversation went, mm-hmm. like some did, some. And that's the cool, beautiful thing about the human experience is seeing your own role through it, too, as we want to experience mm-hmm. it. But you you nailed it and you built it and anyway I almost cried already. <laughs> yeah, I was I think, like, we're not even yeah. like five minutes <laughs> in. I'm a crier. <laughs> I think I think that what you just touched on actually just kind of kind of just hit me in, in what I'm living through at the moment. But it's like, how do you keep those people around? And it's like, just be that exact person. That first of all, that attracted like that type of person into your life. Like, why would you stop and overanalyze like what you're doing now? <laughs> If that, if the whole point, like these people even came into your life, was because you were on your shit and like just focus on that, like once you stop that, and once you stop because like oh like, well let me see what what they actually like want from me or what what I what I should be for this person, then you lose totally sight of like what brought those people into your life to begin with, like, yeah you know and if you yeah. were if you were like if- really like determined and doing what you wanted to do and then you started getting all these positive people come into your life and then you stop and think I'm like oh how do I keep them around like. You, you've kind of already like took a step back because you need to keep just doing what you were doing before. Like that's what brought them in. Like that's, what's going to keep them there for as long as like 
they belong in that journey. Like, I feel like, you know what I mean? Cause that's one thing that, uh, another, like I've learned so many lessons from you. Like it's, it's ridiculous that I take to heart and like, they're all just clicking. Like they, even yeah. like, I don't know anything. And like, <laughs> as you speak, I'm like, <sighs> but, like yeah. Like you <laughs> that know, stupid like, meme of all like the numbers crunching. I'm like, yeah. Like we appreciate people who come into our lives, like for the amount of time that they're in there and then appreciate them. Like if they, if they go, like they go, we're okay. Like it's not the end. That, that okay okay segue that into music right I think mm-hmm. one time like we brought it up where and and this was like an idea and I and I've seen it and I know many people have seen it where a song right mm-hmm. is is not just a bunch of notes there's also space in between and so from from there the the whole analogy I'm butchering it already but let's, <laughs> let's let's break it down a different way. Um, is the notes for me now are people, right? Mm-hmm. And so we can even take it all the way down to like the people in like our life when we were children. And what happens is our parents were the ones playing those notes, meaning starting that song, right? And even like friends around, neighborhoods, whatever, TV, our notes in that human. And it's, it's starting to intake it, right? And it mm-hmm. grows. We get to like a middle school age. We start kind of pushing the notes ourselves Mm -hmm. and we start making our own kind of kind of noise still right and now i don't know i don't know how this flourishes into all of that but we make our own song we're getting in there so yeah you we start focus on our own song and actually appreciating notes how they come but not just i i also have like the bad is it a bad habit? Is it an obsession? I don't know. <laughs> I love humans to where I want, I'm like, even OC, when I have OC mm. in front of me, it's, it's like, like, hi, OC. Hi. <laughs> hi. I want more. Hi. What's it going? What do you think? I, and then that's also, I don't know, that's, that's me. I think I, I like loud music, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I like loud music. I like a lot of loud music. This is how we do that analogy. So you start punching in random. You finally get a chance to put your notes. It doesn't sound great, but you know what? These are the ones that I managed to get. And it kind of for me, that's like okay, like it, it's been a theme throughout my life. Where it's like uh, Ooh. before that, it was where I was just trying to. I would pick just the notes that would let me play them. So that's why and then the some music people play sound, us. You no, know I mean? then oh my <laughs> god, bro, we and, he, he, and the and song he, of life, you either play, the, you get played. <laughs> like who? Who are we to like? God. God, I be giving people my whole last piano, too. I'm like, here you <laughs> go. Let's go. And I'm like, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. It's like, wait, we don't even know if they can play. Uh, this is a whole tone and stuff. Like, I'm, I'm actually, when I, when I got into, like, really vibing into me mm-hmm. and, like, realizing, oh, shit, this is my own song, and I don't even like it. Like, I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, what kind of ranchera punk? No, I'm just kidding. I like ranchera punk. Thank you. I was going to say, that sounds, like, sounds like, that sounds like exactly you're up your Have alley. Have you heard of Pinata Protest, San Antonio? You got to fucking put them in places. Pinata Protest. Pinata Protest. They have, I mean. You're the first one to show me that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You march to like, like Cucaracha and, <laughs> and you live a great life. Um, <laughs> but I was a little too much ranchera punk and, and it was going too much on my body, on mm. my life. So going into and I and you saw me in my cave time you saw yeah. me when I went away and 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 like it felt like I wasn't playing music anymore but I was learning the instrument I was like rewiring the, the guitar like there was no music like, there was noises maybe as I was like ripping all of the strings out of this guitar mm-hmm. and seeing which ones if I were gonna keep one yeah. <laughs> which ones I was gonna restring on there <laughs> and at what tune in my own way you know, and and sometimes a human being has to do that. I don't know. This one did, but that's funny because you you called it cave time because I exclusively was only going to you. I looked like a caveman at the time. <laughs> we were all. Cave I was like, you people. know what, solidarity. Like, I'm not gonna like because I because I remember you, when you came to me, it was like, yeah, like I'm gonna, you know, I think I'm gonna stop for a little bit, and uh, I wasn't really like taking. I was just because because of the relationship we had already developed. I'm like, okay, like. Puga, like, is the type of person who knows, like, herself so well that, like, and then, not even, like, so well, but, like, knows the time. Like, if, if it's something that is, you know, you're willing to, like, stop, like, doing this and it's a whole, like, dramatic decision. And I'm like, oh, like, I'm who am I to question that? You know what I mean? Like, I'm nowhere as close to whatever you're going through. Like, how the hell am I going to be like, oh, you know, but what about my hair? And then it just felt, like, wrong to me. And like, oh, I can go get a haircut. Plus, I didn't want to go back anywhere because, like. It's not just it's not just like the hair of, like here or anything like that. It's always like the experience, and we because we always end up talking for like 
two to three hours at, at the like at the old that's spot if before. we don't have shit and i'm just like puga you gotta reel it in man yeah. <laughs> we're like we're, 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 we're like upset like there, and i'm still in the chair just like you know have my head like cortado we just like have been talking for an hour chopping it up <laughs> <laughs> it's a different kind of job but it's it's, it it's always been great like that's one of the things that um this it, it's insanely like to me if you would have told me that like if somebody would have told me the concept before like i had like been through it myself i it doesn't seem like a real thing you know what i mean i'm like what do you mean like i'm gonna be because before this like my whole experience was like yeah i'm trying to get in and out of here like i don't even care like what it looks like i just need a cup blah 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 and then like not only like the experience of like talking to you and being able to like open up because like now like you've become like literally like one of my best friends um and and it's unreal like how that like happened but also even just that i like the phrase you always say like oh um like the beauty's always there like i'm just carving it out like i'm just, just like, polishing stuff polishing yeah, yeah. And, and even like that because like you you get out of there and like i remember that like the first few times how i would like look at myself and realize like that's the same person that sat down you know what i mean like that's it just me. like makes you feel like elevated and stuff and also like in the way I was moving my life. It just allowed me to, hey, like, I'm not only, like, can feel, like, good, like, based on what I'm doing. Like, I was like, I can, like, reflect it on the outside, too. Like, it, it was yeah. just, it was just, uh, um, it was kind of, like, it's a very nice moment to experience, like, um, you know, in, in, in that chair. And, and, and it all overall became, like, one of my favorite things, like, because, yeah, you, like, we helped each other through, like, quite a bit of, like, stuff, and, like, we've seen each other grow, like, I don't, how many years has it been now? God. I don't even, I don't even know. I was a kid. But. <laughs> <laughs> I was a kid. But it's funny, because that was, like, that was the, the first time I really, really got a chance to talk to you was in that chair, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, uh, honestly, I, like, I do, yes, yes. I want to jump in on absolutely all the things you touched <laughs> on that can't, right? Like, you say all these things, I'm just like, thank you. <laughs> um, the, 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 one the the most important one I want to grab onto. Mm -hmm. All the other ones are, are just I'm not gonna say flattering because I know you read it. <laughs> um, but the one of the importance of a haircut and the sociology effects that it has mm -hmm. on a dude, on a on particularly dude because my my scope I can tell you about that mm -hmm. right I can't I can't tell you about women and stuff like that right now today because guess what I don't work on I'm working on ladies hair I work on Barbary, mm -hmm. and so I'm, I can only tell you from perspective of Fuga. But it just so happens that when the human, I've noticed when the human finally gets to see themselves in a deliberate way or in, thankfully, I'm, I, again, I, I love you guys like a tia. Like mm -hmm. I had to cure me of some way because like at some point someone randomly threw like this weird worm of the, of the idea of like being like a, oh, it's kind of like a girlfriend experience, man. Because like I pluck, I clean, I make sure everything down to the T. Why? Because I care about you. I want you to, honestly, it's, it's like the diligence. If you were me mm -hmm. i would like someone to take care of me that way like yeah. well yeah i'm gonna cut your hair and everything but i'm gonna let that one hit no let me just take oh, there you go yeah. i'm just cleaning you <laughs> and 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 that turned into let me highlight your your best features that turned into let me show my friend all of his eyes all yeah. of who he wants to be and 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 also see him right so it turns into that and then so the the amazing I don't know the 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 changes I've seen in again beautiful beings like you but taking the the importance to to actually like everyone mm -hmm. where I, from from working at Cleopatra salon where like ladies would come in and they would bring like their 8 year olds mm -hmm. right that's an eight-year-old boy. Not a, even five-year-old is still stressful for me because I see the sociology in a kid, mm -hmm. right? Like they're aware. They know. They, they hey, what's up? I have a I have a being, and but these guys here, eight-year-old tame dude, right? Whole lot of hair, and it's like the yearly like just buzz cut it. La, la, la cero y la uno. Yeah. And I'm like, but and 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 you see all of this great hair too, and I'm like, oh, I want to work with it. I want to do something with this. Like, can I sculpt it? And they're mm -hmm. like, no, no, corta la, corta. La. And and I it would be it was it for me it was like what the fuck like like this guy has a personality like yeah. he could look cool he could express himself at school like algo yeah. right <laughs> and so if anything I started doing that there 
And it, I took longer, but I didn't care. And I had to convince them, like, no, pero mire, señora. And some ladies didn't like it. They, didn't, yeah. they, they, they got their house down on a tee. And that's where I was like, okay, I need to, like, really work with people who can value and appreciate me. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. ¿Y por qué tan caro? Like, right? Yeah. Like, todavía unos 20 baros, right? I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> cabrón. Este, but anyway that the the importance of of someone giving a shit and and that and oh, <sighs> damn that was as simple as like when you said that i'm like yes yeah, like anytime like i ever like that experience before was always like they don't give a shit like what i want to look like right now when i would like mind you in, you walk into pro because you do you're not communicating that you give a shit either right yeah. like you're just like whoever what a, i don't know a and, number and i and i and i like I understand those places need to exist. Like people were like in here, but I, I, I would go in sometimes with an idea, and it was it was always like sometimes a wild shit. I'm like I want to do this, and I would always come out with like a standard haircut. Or like it's like this is not what I asked for. But again, it goes like it's like hey, like that's not like this wasn't the place for it. You know what I mean? And but it kind of like teaches you like to. It kind of instilled in me. I was like, oh, what? I guess it really doesn't matter, like, what I want to look like. Like, I'm not going to look like that. It's it's kind of what it conveyed to me. Like, it's not possible for me Whoa. to look that way. You know what I mean? So, like, and that's why I didn't, I didn't care. Like, anytime I went to get a haircut, it was that's dumb. Wild. Or I would do, like, I would make them <laughs> do dumb stuff that they didn't want to do sometimes. Like, I remember when I first, like, wanted to do, like, a mullet. Like, they were like, what? why do you want that? And I'm like, I want it. Like, it's, it's, it's like, what I want to do. Like, it's fine. This and, is where I'm at. Yeah, those are moms. They're yeah. like, "Por qué?" No. <laughs> I'm at the. I'm like, "What's up? Let's yeah. go." But that's that's again like even like risk taking in like my appearance and things like that. You know what I mean? Like it's something that I honestly didn't think that I could do because I thought I had to conform into like the standard stuff that I had I look to get like. Done. Uh, what did you look like? What did you conform to? What were you conforming to? Uh, I don't know. Banker. Like the, Pretty, yeah, anything. You, like, it was, it wasn't even like it, it was just like oh, it, you look like a regular person. Like it's like a hacker. I don't think and you it, look it, like a regular person. You look like it. Well, in my brain, I immediately saw you as a singer. I, when I first met you, you were already on stage. Mm -hmm. and that, that's and that's what I was always like because I, at yeah. the moment I wasn't a band, so I was like, I want something that's gonna catch attention. Like it's gonna make me feel like. Like a damn like like fucking rock star. Or I something got like, I got like, a whole picture where you look like a whole ass bookie, right? Like you 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 look beautiful. I was, I've like shown that picture. Was like that's my homie. Oh, see. You yeah yeah but yeah. But it, it is it is an interesting the the psychology behind that and like how a, a simple again it, it in I felt for a long time and I'm like I'm not a, I was like I'm not allowed to look like that you know what I mean like it was like it's like it's just. I, it's not my thing. Like, I can't do it. And then, like, literally, once it's coming here, like, it, it started off with, like, I literally, like, this is completely, like, credit to you. Like, having a beard at all. Because I remember coming in, and <laughs> I, had a, I had, had a, a little goatee, and I'm like, I go, no, like, it doesn't grow. And he's like, you were like, uh, yes, there's it does. There. There's hair there. Like, I'm like, there's <laughs> no way. Like, I've I've never been able to grow a beard. He's like, he's like, all right, from now on. Trust me. Like, you look this crazy. This is though, mine. Bro. Like, he's like, do not touch this. At all, like, trust me. And I would still like it would still get me like two to three months in, and I would mess with it. He's like, what did I say? And it finally took me finally like giving in. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna look wild like for a time. And it did. The fact that it looks like this, I go back and like see it. I'm like, and pe and I like I remember when people started like, oh like, so you got a nice beard. And I'm like, hold on, you have to learn the story. Like, I, I didn't think this <laughs> shit was possible. Like, <laughs> it's magic. It's magic. <laughs> this is magic, and it's still I still feel that way. I'm like, that's insane. Like, it's insane to me how. Even that again, like again, I, I was like, I can't do that. Like, I can't do that. And just like, oh, like it takes someone else. Be like, let me see what I can do. Like, let me see what we can do together. Like, just trust the. It's I'm the whole trust here. the process thing. All, all that's like shooting in like my whole antenna, right? It's <laughs> just like I just love you, man. You've just been blooming, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> like it's just your natural bloom. So yeah, that's it is. It is. It's your natural bloom. I'm just a gardener. How about that? Mm -hmm. I just I, I prune gardens. It just so happens that the gardens I've been working on for a long time now grow in like a phenomenal like way that they grow out. You even when you come in, like it's overgrown and it still has its vibe. Yeah. And so I just prune gardens. I just, just prune you, gardens. You're your own garden though. And you can be your own garden. You can you can do absolutely whatever. We have the technology. You remember we I used to straighten the hair and stuff? Mm -hmm. I think right now we're all like obsessed with natural. 
but that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say we, that's me. I, I, I want to go full natural uh, right now. And but but that's the, the cool thing about finding the most natural mm. you. Right. Yeah. Polishing that natural stone. And I think that's where I don't know this new age of designer barbary. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, designer barbary. It's, it's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. Uh, actually, barbary is not was not a word until Puga. Just now, recorded it. Is it really not a word? It's not a word. <laughs> it is Barbary now. now. Yeah, yeah, Barbary. <laughs> and and I, I'm a master in Barbary. Um, <laughs> but no, no, I, I'm, I'm, I don't even know where I was going. I love you. It's cool. Barbary. You're pretty. <laughs> also, anyone out there um, that could hear that, that mm-hmm. definitely, I, I hope it's powerful for them, wherever they are. Yes, everyone's wherever they beautiful. Are. You want a mohawk? <laughs> no, I'm like, you want, a, <laughs> you want a mohawk? We don't have to start with a mohawk. Uh, mullets have been magic, though. Yeah, I you have a you have a friend who has like a badass mullet that comes into you, uh, that used to come into you that I remember seeing. I can't remember what their name is, but anyways, um, it was a they. It was a they. What what we look like? Uh, curly hair. Was it a curly mullet? Was it a straight? Mullet? No, I think it was a straight mullet. They always had Beautiful a very people. rock star vibe. They always had their. Oh, uh, I know you're talking. About. Yeah. They're cool. cool. They're cool. Love it. They're cool. Um, They're cool. We also the client list is actually f- secret. Yeah, so that's no, thing. Oh, I just is it? I, is it? I'm the only one public right now. You're the only. One, <laughs> I'm I mean, going public. <laughs> it's it's well, just no one knows where it is. It's a cave. It's invitation only. True. Uh, you know that. Uh, vetted friends. I don't know. I'm not plugging anything. I'm just I'm just straightening out. Straight. I, I went to the bar, and it's not that I'm not open about it anymore but mm-hmm. i think like i used to be so much like oh, i'm a barber right like yeah. and like it would turn into like a thing like and and it, even it was funny because like I, dudes would be like ah oh, chicks can't cut hair chicks can't be a barber and if anything i'm like oh yeah come to mine you know first one's on me yeah. and it was like a whole ego thing where now i'm losing money right like <laughs> I, I just to prove it to a to a jerk yeah. like, like what and so now I, I was at a bar not too long ago and with a buddy who i do work in him uh, and his 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 friend, his lady friend, and she was telling her friends, they're like, "Oh yeah, Pig is a barber, so I've been in it." And, you know, and then I'm over here like, they, I know that whenever I tried to shake people's hand, they didn't yeah. even like take my name at all, like like that kind of vibe. Mm-hmm. So I was already on the other side of the bar. Yeah. Like, my my business, I'm cool. <laughs> and so I overhear homegirl like, "Oh yeah, I'm Pig," and I uh, he says, uh, "Oh, I'll I'll let I'll let her cut my hair," you know, and I'm like. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm like, so you gotta, oh, you gotta see it's actually your invitation <laughs> only, and I'm not even in charge of that list. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, but what, like, it, it gets to that, so I'm just like, mm, no, maybe not. Yeah. So, but again, it's only because we have to take care of our energies. Mm-hmm. No, like, and that's again, just coming back to that, like, it's, it, it, it just adds to that whole like. Um, just like those self care like things like this is one of those things that will be like it's like it's because I care a lot about like what energy I keep around you. I know you're super like in like in eh, what is it eh, I don't know intuitive like you're really in touch with like that type of like energy and like spirit around you. So you like kind of get it again like how you like get like vibes off people. It's like no nope, like that's not like. Uh, vibration ain't linking up, you know. It's hard. It's hard for me not to vibe in. It's mm-hmm. hard for me not to catch someone's vibe, and I can catch someone's vibe, um, and and I'm good with it and everything. And then I I, had, I try to still keep like a good experience, but I know, and I put it in my in my back. I'm like, and I'm not gonna return to that vibe, mm-hmm. and that's cool. And I'm not gonna invite that vibe back. That's it. But I can I can catch vibes. I'm, I can roll with it, and I can I can play the the, the part even. And yeah. then I, and so again like and and I also I think like the experience of Puga, the experience of me. I always again I want to be that friend. Mm-hmm. I want to be that good person. I want to be. And sometimes some people bring out some, uh, and then I'm like, okay, all right, okay, this is an opportunity to be a better person for self, right? And mm-hmm. so I try to still and and so I don't know. I I mean. I, I normally say, I used to say, it was like, don't let ugly people make you ugly. Mm-hmm. And now I'm like, there's no ugly people, right? There's just people living. Mm-hmm. But but some, some we are on presets where we're like, why not live like this offensively? Because I don't necessarily know how to look at myself. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, you know what? <laughs> yeah. We're going we're gonna to see some stuff, but I can only be here for so long. <laughs> and well, again, tangent. 
<laughs> Tangent. That's all this is. <laughs> but it's, uh, what is it? But going back, I guess, a little bit where, again, the importance of a haircut. Mm. The importance of, I've now changed it to transformative events. Because you're right. We're, we're just transforming you for your next season. Mm -hmm. Even as you bloom, as your beard gets thicker. Right? Like, you're going to change. As we turn white, we're going to change. Right? Mm. Like, as we, as we keep blooming and... and Every season, every every I don't know, every shower even, right? New toothbrush, mm. new me. Mm. But every <laughs> <laughs> every cleanse is is a is a moment to look at yourself again and say, Yeah, not only I'm here, I'm renewed, I keep going. And I don't know. The importance of why I still do it. Although I'm j no, I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not. I love it. I think I'm gonna do it forever. You've got yeah, you've had your moments where you're like, I don't know what it but I think that's a cool thing where you you are very into the uh, uh, idea of like, I do not want to limit myself, and I want to like. I was like, yes, I'm good at this, but who's to say I won't be like better at something else, like in the future? You know what I mean? Like, it, it's and not limiting yourself to like. It's like, oh, just because I'm really good at this, like, as what I do, like, doesn't mean like, you know, next year I'll be flying planes or something like that like it's something One, like crazy yes yes <laughs> no, no you you let me fly that plane um but well you you use the word better and that's i think that's where i'm gonna i'm gonna grab it okay. where where it's it's i'm great today mm -hmm. and i know that i you can always learn more great things tomorrow right mm -hmm. like it, it the 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 fact that i can drive a car is is uh, just a license right the fact that i can cut hair it's just a license ultimately we just go and like collect things now mind you if we even want to license them i don't give a shit anymore <laughs> right like like now it's like do i just want to like it, it, i don't know like you want to go make glass sculptures let's go take a class class right mm -hmm. and before you know it, you're a glass sculpt artist <laughs> right and and that's just another medium that's just another thing that your body your creator can express themselves. I, I I know that as great as I am barbering, I know that I can like spend a whole three, four hours with a crayon and a paper and see what I'm gonna end up with something. Mm. And and <laughs> and and it's gonna be cool, right? So it, it's it's trusting that we are powerful creators mm -hmm. in the moment constantly. And 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 that's what I have to like remind myself. That's what does remind myself. That's why I'm like, oh, I'll do it forever. Mm -hmm. But because I also know that I'm probably gonna end up like in some like, I don't know, mm, cool little houseboat off of the off of the the, <laughs> the what is it, the Gulf? The Gulf. <laughs> and uh, and, my, and I'm gonna you know whatever buddy it is OC came to visit or and and whatever and oh yeah yeah later let me take some whiskers off you real quick <laughs> and, and let's go grab a mai tai you know yeah. and, and that's it that's gonna be. That's going to be how I'm going to live it. I know that that's just going to have, and it is, it's one of my like favorite ways of expressing love. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite ways of expressing myself. Like I can do something. Yeah. I can go and, and do stuff. So, and if it's sometimes carving a face, I am actually pretty, pretty good at like trimming hedges. <laughs> I'm, my translate I, over. What? What? <laughs> I'm a gardener. I'm, you know, it's just about again diligence and caring for each other. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It's, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think you've you've figured out. Like I said, I think I think what you just said is like it's one of your favorite ways to express love. It's now a hobby. Yeah. yeah. It's not a... And and I I feel like at least like from every one of my experiences, like that's something that you can kind of like really really take in and feel like when you're like in the you know in the chair and just doing that like you really feel like that sort of love and i think i feel like that's how we manage to develop like the friendship that we have is is because like of that translation of going back and forth and being able to like really really like have these like wonderful just like conversations and not not all of them are just, like super intense some of them are just like fun some of them are just like learning stuff about each other and then um and then honestly just like hey like I need to be able to say like something and I know that I can say it like to you like kind of thing. And that's, that's one thing that we've like managed to develop like over time. And I, when I come in here, I'm like, Oh, like, and then sometimes like I am like still like scared of something, like saying something because like I'm scared of saying it to myself and I'm like, Oh, okay. We'll like coax it out and just like come out of it. And because I know that like, because of the dynamic we've built, like we have like this really nice where we can, we can be honest about these things and we don't have to have like an answer is one thing like, I've sometimes come out of here. It's like, yeah, like 
It's like we're still like I'm still open the same like question stuff. Like it's not an answer. It's like but I was able to say it. Like and and, and that's that's really cool. But knowing your your passion that that's not even passion, just something that like again like it's a way for you to express love. Like and you know that you know I don't know what capacity, but it's gonna be like I'm gonna do it like forever. Yeah. When we paint, when, when I didn't do this, <laughs> I didn't do this. But when we paint, it it this body was able to create something beautiful, and that expresses love. What to anyone who comes into this this uh, this environment, right? Mm-hmm. When I mean, come on, dude! Like I right now can grab something that Kid OC played. I can grab something <laughs> that Kid O.C. played a long ass time ago, today, mm. right now, and experience that and experience the passion that you put into something for someone to enjoy. Mm. We're expressing love. We're, that's the actual creator. That's just express love. Express love. And I think I think as a creator, like. Be valued back. Be valued back. Um, but once you. Once you tap into that creator, like, spirit or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter what, like, avenue you pick. That's why, like, you're saying, like, I was like, yeah, I'll do this forever, but, like, I don't know, like, what else it'll... Because once you start creating, like, you... What if... You, like, you're saying, like, what if, like, you... All of a sudden, you're just like, oh, okay, I want to paint, you know what I mean? I don't know if... Like, I don't have to be good. Like, I'm just going to be making stuff. Like, I just want to be making, like, things. Yeah, what is good? If anything, like everything is just, I have used the, what is it, the Pollux, right? Like, like, <laughs> like, like this is actually, if anything, my favorite thing, because like it, it, the colors, I don't know. I like, I like, uh, I like seeing how perfectly imperfect mm. the human world is. How the, the, the human creating something is not supposed to be like, as as magical as God, right? Yeah. Like we, I'm not gonna ever do a fade <laughs> as beautiful as a sunset, mm-hmm. ever. <laughs> I'm yeah. that's a fade, homie. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fade, right? That's so the, that's the sky has fade. <laughs> so whole fade, and so what's what's right anymore? Mm. What's right anymore? Well, uh, yeah, like like um, what's good? What's what's everything's perfect? Because like the things that become like these great like art pieces are subjective it depends on who you're going to you got to think of like i always think about it one in forms of music i think of some of my favorite songs and how the recording on it was probably very garbage like like it wasn't even like it doesn't sound super good i go but they're my favorite because because that art is subjective to me like how did it hit me like where was i what was i thinking like what did this make me feel like and that's something that once you create something you are no longer in charge of that like that's you have no control over how this song gets taken, how you something you wrote gets taken, how something you painted makes someone feel like that is no longer your job. Like the artist can say, and it's one thing I've I've talked to people, but you, once you once you create something, and you paint this, and I'm like, wow, this makes me think of my family. And the artist is like, well, that's not like what I was doing. It's like I, I get that you were creating this. I go, but this is what it made me feel. You know what I mean? Like, and it's one of the most beautiful things in art is that how many different ways it can be perceived absolutely and and how and i love that the fact that once you put it out like that's that's it like you're you have no control over like what people are gonna it's think freedom no it's, it's like, freedom yeah. and and again when hmm, when we put out content may it be just ourself this is that that be your be that friend be and so i'm, I'm trying to catch myself in that mm-hmm. When you, when you want to put out content of self, when you want to put out art, when you want to love someone, when you want to, uh, when you want, it, it's, it's really then, and this is, I think that's where I trip myself up. I do allow a lot, but I, I do doubt myself because I can, and I hold back a little bit because I'm, I'm always like, I, I want to be aware of what I'm, I'm presenting. Mm-hmm. If I, and so I've, I've said this like in my head so many times, so let's say, say it out loud, Poogs. Um... If I focus on who I represent, I then never worry about who I offend, right? And so, no, mind you, I'm, I'm, I'm not ever actually worried about offending. If someone takes me wrong way, mm-hmm. I don't actually think I offended you, though. I, I swear to God, if, if you got offended, that's a whole different concept, <laughs> bud. Um, but because I, I try very hard not to, mm-hmm. right? Yet still, it's going to get taken. 
And the cool thing about that is I know to keep my intention where I put it. It's intention. Mm -hmm. Right? When we put out art, when I, when I do something with love, I know the intention was with love. So mm -hmm. I just get to bless it into the freedom of that. Line. And it's love. So, I mean, and sometimes it gets to, I've used officious love before. We mm -hmm. overdo it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. That's, I, again, that's the beauty of art where you just, like, if you don't like it, that's okay. So you can you not like it. Like, it's fine. Like, it's that's, totally it, it it's was just totally an experience. Okay. It was just an experience. Me, I didn't take it all. I like it all now. Mm. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm here to experience the world, right? Like, everything's a flower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everything happened. Not, I, I, like, absolutely everything in this environment around me mm. has been brought in and created. Like, like that's dope. True. That's dope. <laughs> Take that stop back and realize, like, all these things were, like, not even, like, these things, like, they were super intense. Like, again, like, every everything that's around us, like, has been made. And you take a time to stare at a water bottle long enough, you're like, how does this design work? Like, how does this a feel human, right in my hand? Like, a human right put now? a like, thought to it, you know? Or, like, or anything. Um, once you start putting that thought into it. I don't know, like, the other day it was, like, uh, I kept, I always have this thought of, like, I never look it up. But I'm always, like, how did cassettes work? And then I'm like, how do CDs work? I'm like, then I just start going like, how do like we put stuff on? Like, how is this recording us on a memory card? And I'm just like, someone came magic. up with that. I, I'm just completely convinced it's magic because I still, I still don't get it. It always starts off with I'm staring at my like record player and I'm like, that's just a needle going over like vinyl. I'm like, and music comes out of that like. It ain't adding up, cheese. Like, <laughs> this, is, this is literally the conversation I was having last night. I was on a walk with a buddy, and I was like, "Fucking records!" Like it was like that. And and he was and he actually like he's the kind of guy. And I think like it started off because I was mocking. I was mocking something. But it was like fun, uh, where he was like basics and electronics. And I was like, "That would suck to finish that big ass textbook and it'd be obsolete at the end, right?" Like, and he's like, "Nah, nah, nah. These are the basics. You need it. You need it." And I'm like, "Okay, okay." And I said something. About like how does that work? And he like goes full in on, and it's the groove, and it picks it up, and it's radio waves, man, and it's the same. And I'm just like, how are we not aliens though? Like, like how is this? How did we? Anyway, and on our walk, then we we talked about the Roswell alien that mm -hmm. was brought to Fort Worth. I didn't know that. Oh, what? Hold what? on, hold on, hold on. What I is got, this? I got you a drive, homie. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, We're gonna go happening? urban hike. Actually, you can't. It's like it's uh, what is it? So rough, a uh, um, McCartan sem and and seminary a little bit higher up that way. The the before before the big like police um, schooling or whatever. There's mm -hmm. another big facilities and and my buddy was like pointing out. He's like yeah 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 and like rumor has it like this and that and that. And I'm like oh fuck. That's <laughs> yeah, well, but again tunnels. <laughs> tunnels oh the tunnels on the that's that's an okay we can step, here we go we stepped on tunnels uh, you uh what is what is one of the other uh unofficial professions that you consider yourself which is like you love you love fort worth so you're like you consider yourself the what is it Puga pantera. i am fuga pantera fuga the panther man <laughs> i'm i love fort worth i prowl <laughs> i like, prowl i remember you were thinking for a bit to offer like your own like tours like to leave yeah. around the city I'm like i want to see it through like what i see anybody jump on this right here this is money mm -hmm. whoever you are do it puga still hasn't done it um and i think you're gonna do it great and if i do it there's no competition you're just awesome and i'm awesome <laughs> <laughs> um that said airbnb experiences jump on there and sell yourself to hang out for a freaking hour or two right mm -hmm. and like while you're here local with a local oh yeah where do you like eating what do you like drinking what do you like seeing and we can actually like drive not drive but like you know mm -hmm. uh show people where they actually want to go there's so many people actually falling into fort worth spilling we know this yeah except for all the transplants don't actually know anything about it and so, one, they're stomping all over it by saying it's boring and doing a whole lot, you know, and, mm. and they don't like it. And I'm like, oh, it's because you don't know. You don't know about the gems. You don't know about the realms. Mm. Don't give them the good stuff, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Send them to the stockyards. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, oh. but <laughs> I, 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 the concept came up with, like, yeah, my love for Fort Worth and mm. just wanting to prowl around. I was like, how can, how can we, like, make this a thing? Mm. And, and giving, like, Fort Worth tours. I really, I live downtown Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. I love it. 
And so from point look, and, and do we even have to be professionals? Like, what is a professional, like, tour guide anymore? I don't, there's, no, there's no license for that. You don't need it. <laughs> well, look at that. There's a knight right there. You know? <laughs> like, uh, and this is the clock in front of, you know, over in Sundance Square. Yeah. Like, this, like, this clock is iconic. Everyone has stood in this light. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> some, some dumb shit. But, it, I, no, I, it, was, it was a really cool thing. And it still can be. It still can be. It still can be. I just want, I look, urban, or, or is it Airbnb experiences, urban hikes. That would be it. Sign up. Hit me up. We're going to schedule it. It's going to be Sunsets, Puga Pantera, professional sunset chaser. We'll find you a good-ass <laughs> sunset here in Fort Worth. There. Boom. There you go. Done. Money. Business idea. Money. Oh, Just yeah, don't yeah. take my name, but you guys run with it. <laughs> Please. I like my name. So it's going to go Puga Pantera. <laughs> Look at... Uh, I've already recorded my name everywhere. You can't. You can't. I mean, you, you could, but it's... Please it's don't. It's not nice. <laughs> Please, don't. <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> Please don't. That wouldn't be nice. You'll look like a phony. You no, no one will look like the Puga Pantera. Why do well, yeah. I have to say it in like an accent like that, though? La Puga, La Puga Pantera. Ooh. Ooh you like my, I've been practicing my, my was, uh, radio voice. It started with Pancho Pantera. It really, Pancho Pantera? <laughs> yeah, the cho, el, del, del Chocomil. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a fortified... I'm super Mexican. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here drinking bulky and stuff. Ah, well. Ah, well. <laughs> um, what is it? Yeah, it, it came from Chocomil. Uh, and and uh, the little Pancho Pantera, he's always like kicking a soccer ball or doing something. And I'm like, I'm Puga Pantera. <laughs> uh, that's another thing we could talk about. So last summer, I was going to Mexico to see my family. And then someone was like, <laughs> I was like, hey, I got a wedding down there sometime. Let me just go with you. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> it was kind of It was kind of wild, but honestly, like, First of all, I appreciate that because it helped me like on my nerves and driving and stuff. <laughs> Even though like you were sleeping back there, I'm like, like, I'm like, someone's back there. Like, I, I appreciate it like that. Good. Um, but the cool thing, uh, uh, your experience, uh, the way you intake just everything is amazing. First of all, you love like Mexico, <laughs> like you you love your culture like us so much and i i love that so much about you because honestly it's something that like i'll dip in and out of and i'll i'll forget sometimes i i, I could you not like i'll forget i'm like oh that is my culture you know what i mean and I, I was just like oh and then when you dip back into it and like look at it, i'm like this is beautiful you know what i mean like uh, uh, i i take into like I say why too many times, bro. I'm, I'm in my why soon. I was like, why the fuck am I here? Still? <laughs> like, my, but go. it's it's such a like beautiful way to look at things and, and just be fascinated by them. Like, and I, so many people, like my family, but like other people that we ran into that you spoke to. Like, I remember later, like. Uh, I went back to like some lady you talked to her at like her puesto or whatever. Oh my god! And I went back like two, three days later. Uh, actually, no, I went back like a week later. And then uh, I was like, oh, like, I'm getting something. And it's like, oh, it's for, uh, so he's like, oh, my God. Like, I was like, blah, blah, blah. He's like, started rapping and raving. He's like, and you had, like, a five to ten minute conversation with this person. And this person walks back, like, enlightened. My cousins, like, loved you. And, like, we're talking about you. Uh, but uh, but it's, like, the spirit, like, free spirit and, like, the spirit of adventure. Especially, like, where you were just like, yeah, I'm just going to take the bus. Like, and then go to, or, or you were, I forgot where you were going to. Like, but you were going to a wedding. But then you... Stop by like Mexico de F and like experience all that. And then I think you like even ran into like some of your family has like they also do like uh hair and shit. Like hair and stuff like that, but they have like a freaking It's one it's one uh well it's one and then she started the company. Like she she yeah, she, yeah. She started a company and then she hired like all of the family. She's like, uh excuse me, you guys want like an easy job? And <laughs> and, and it's it's blowing up. So blessed on that. Mm-hmm. Um Jessica. I love you. She's cool as fuck. <laughs> She's cool as fuck. Um, that whole, that whole, it was a backpacking trip. I mm. think, like, I have to just, like, okay, it was it was a duffel bag. She legit was, had a duffel bag. <laughs> That's legit all you had. It was, was a duffel, a duffel bag. bag of athleisure that I could, <laughs> that, I, that I had already, like, I, I, I'm a super, I'm a superhero out of it. I'm just like, all right. Actually, Christian and I talk about it. We say super suits. I'm like, all right, bro, like, get the super suit ready. Uh, if we're gonna go hiking, there's super suit for that. If we're gonna go like road tripping, there's there, I got it. I got the vibe. Um, and so yeah, it was like a duffel bag. I was like, I'm prepared. Yeah. Let's go. And and it was magic. It was all too crazy of magic mm-hmm. on how your your trip lined up to mine perfectly. Yeah. 
to where I was like, this is, this is the moment, you know, <laughs> you jump on the train and you go. <laughs> and, and, and it was also trusting a lot of faith for that, for yeah. me too. It was big. It was, it was big. So that's where also maybe my spirit of like wonder already started. Like I was like, I'm on a miracle, right? Like I'm, <laughs> let's go. And, and that was kind of, I know I, I'm, I'm super grateful. So I'm on a miracle daily, yeah. right? <laughs> like, I'm super grateful. But, um, uh, going to San Luis Potosí for the very first time. Right. And and the, seeing how it's it, the people are people mm -hmm. seeing how and, and again, it just tunes in more to the human yeah. where where we grow up in places like there's and, and our uh, you, you keep mentioning our culture. And then we, we have to also be the real the culture that we are living in. Mm -hmm. And and we see like TV and stuff. And I've grown up you know just knowing about war. I've grown up knowing about slaughter. I've grown up like bad things. Right. And always and only in the present moment, finding human spirit. Every yeah. time. Every time. And so getting to San Luis Potosí, mind you, my mom is like, ¿A dónde vas? Like, right? And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm not going to argue with you, madre. And she's like, a estas horas quiero que llegues en avión, no que en rai con el amigo. <laughs> and I'm like, look, you might want to get in there very quickly on a plane right now like that and then dip like that that's your vibe but me like this is this is the sauce mom <laughs> you know and and i even like pulled out some crazy ass like guilt cards too i was like <laughs> where the hell were you at 30 right you <laughs> crossed this border they you didn't even have a cell phone on you homie like <laughs> like i'm just going down there i'll facetime you chill out you yeah. know like <laughs> That's fine. And and I think that was like where like we also have technology, right? We have that yeah. backing us up. We have everything. And then again, just trusting that faith and human spirit and seeing how that can bloom and how what you can do to, mm. to, to bloom it, right? And anyway, jumping on a bus uh afterwards. Now or San Luis was was an experience. I can't even I uh, <laughs> I get there. And your tias are already making food. Yeah. I meet your grandma. Everyone's sweet. And it felt like I was also coming home. Yeah. It felt like, yo también llegué en la casa de mis tias. Y, y, y yo también he estado en casas así. I've been in houses like this. I've been in patios like this. Mm. This is home. And y, mira, siéntese, you know, and, mm. and everything and getting to know them. And everyone's laughing. Y las tias chidas y coquetas. And I'm like, <laughs> bro, this is bam. <laughs> So again, a blessing. I think. I think also. I'm, I'm not gonna say we're all that. Like I'm, mm. I can't say every single Mexican home is like that. Yeah. I am grateful that you and I are the same kind of mix. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> like, which is just a good vibe. I think it's a. That, yeah, that's beer. that. That was honestly like. <laughs> it, it, yeah, which kind of fits in exactly to my exact personality you know what i mean and i'm like i go and i'm like this is okay yeah this is what our family's like like it was just trying to have a good time you know what i mean like with each other um and it was it was very that the whole human element like thing um i felt like that trip i got a moment um to really experience my family as people instead of just like oh pues es la tía, like you know or this is your cousin blah blah, That's blah. Big. but being able to speak to them like as a person like self-aware now like of who i am and what i am and being like oh like well the you're chest. also i was like you're also like capable of the same like emotions that i'm feeling the same like <laughs> you know doubt the same like good spirit like it's I like and and getting to learn like these stories and for them to is, speak to me in a way of like oh we're talking to each other like just like people right now like just like you are a person like we are talking to each other and and just break it breaks this weird like s s like wall that I have with like people sometimes, where I'm like I don't I I forget the human element in people at, at, at times, and I'm like oh like you know they some people don't invite it. There's yeah. in this culture particularly, it's very like the fuck the fuck uh, <laughs> like and and uh, this is what you uh, I don't know yeah you were here mm -hmm. where I said some people take attention as an attack yeah. And, and over, like, whenever, but we actually, like, give genuine attention, mm -hmm. it makes sense. Right? But if we give it, like, it, it's a wild thing. It's a wild thing. But that that's that's the human element in there. Yeah. But but here I found some culture where it's just like, the fuck are you? What? What? And I'm, and I'm like, I'm not. I'm just, no, human? No? Oh. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and it, yeah, oh. it, 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 because yeah, I think in in this in this era, it's really easy to be detached from that human element. Like we have a lot that offers that to become a little easier. You know, uh, as much as like I appreciate like social media and the internet, I feel like that's one of the biggest ways for us to like. Oh yeah, these people are in our lives, and we realize when like the time comes, like I don't know these people at all. You know what I mean? Because you know, I haven't talked to them in forever, and or I assume like everything that they post, like that's who they are. I'm like, and and in my head, I've already built them to be this person, and I have no clue who they are. You know what I mean? Because no. that's all, that's all I see. And and like I said, I love that it lets people get in contact with people that they don't you know get to see every day. But it's a lot of people to keep track of, and it's a lot of people to affect you personally. Um, Control and you, them algorithms. You take sure. you take all that shit in, and I I, I realized once. Um, use that mute button, y'all. Mute, use was, that mute button. I was on something. Be muted. And then uh, I was uh, <laughs> I glanced at my phone, and I was I scrolled through it. But at the moment, like I re- my brain was retaining everything that I was scrolling through. I was like, I'm not stopping to read any of this. I'm just scrolling through it. I go. But my brain You're is in so fucking, it. it's in taking it in. I go, so it's in there somewhere. So whether it was negative, positive, which, I mean, online, that algorithm is going to pump that negative stuff, like, up really quickly. I go, it's what probably encourages a lot of, like, my doubt in myself. Like, what encourages the fact that, like, I constantly have this thing where um, I've, I've ran into it with actually a, a few podcast guests now where I've literally known these people. But in my head, I've built it up that I'm like, they do not like me. I was like, they do not like me. I was like, I don't know why. I go, we, and, and these are people who are, are coming over, like, to hang out with me. And I, my head is telling me that. We start talking, and I'm like, I am crazy. I'm like, <laughs> we're, we're fucking great friends. Like, look at this. Like, we're, like, they are, like, it's, it's wild to me. But it, I think a lot of that stuff that I intake kind of feeds that to where I'm, I'm building up these people. I was like, these people don't want to talk to me. And it's not that. It's just the fact that, like, because I don't interact with them in person like as much anymore, I automatically assume that you know what I mean. People that I do interact with, like I'm like, yeah, like, like, Puga loves me, like I know that, like because I get to I get to speak to them and stuff like that. But <laughs> having to like to hold on to all these connections without being able to be like have them tangible, like have them like close to me, like honestly, like is a little rough, and that's what like leads to like that sort of like imposter syndrome of like oh like these people like. Um, are only like it's kind of weird it's this weird feeling of like uh these people are only uh you know what i mean like they they don't really appeasing, care appeasing appeasing yeah. oh my god so I it's, hate this, the it's this weird feeling and i'm like oh they're just you know they think this is dumb or uh whatever i'm doing like it's not cool i get so and, 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 yeah <laughs> It's it's this I weird feeling, think. and then like, and then but then like, literally, and then it's I've been wrong about it literally every single fucking time, like every time I've literally like talked to him, and they're like, oh no, like like everything you're fucking like as much of a fan as I am, I've, these people like they've like reciprocated that like right back, and I'm like, and it, it, it dawns on me, I'm like, they are literally coming over like to speak to you, like. It, it's, can I can I root it? Can sure. I like can I like psychic barber the shit out of that? <laughs> I think it's. Where this weird little guy of competition even mm-hmm. could be, because you you think oh they're cooler than I maybe or like they I'm not impressing them. Does that make sense in yeah. that? And then all of a sudden you're like wait, what the fuck am I impressing? I'm hanging out with my buddy. Yeah. Right. And and that's where we get to remember that same here mm-hmm. concept. You're saying it, and I was like what the fuck is it? And I'm <laughs> like, but it, I'm I'm also I I I am am slave to my last performance. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a true fact. Yeah. I am slave to my last performance. If I I swear to God, as as great as I know that I loved you, I missed something. If I remember I missed something. Or let's say and actually I missed your mustache. <gasps> and so it's not bothering you, it's not bothering me. One not bothering I, me. I, I like the I like the organic flow. <laughs> but but the, the but if I knew that I missed your mustache and you left. Mm. <laughs> 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 I suck. I suck. I suck. I suck. And so that's also I'm like, oh, he's just coming back to me because he loves me. But it's it, man, he probably doesn't even like damn America no more. Yeah. And and that's where where I get I get into my own thing. And again, this is where we get to breathe, human, breathe. 
But yeah, no, you 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 nailed it though, and you helped me nail that. Did you? That was yeah. like, like <laughs> I saw, I saw you the gears turning, and like oh, I was like, you're too cool. <laughs> you're too cool. You're too cool. I think I think I get into that. Like I get into like you're you're. I'm trying to impress you. I'm trying to. I'm trying. Like I'm trying to, you know, appease you. Where, yeah, where the I, I definitely get into that a lot. It's like I want to make sure that they like like this. Like I was like I want <laughs> as stupid as like I was like I want to make sure they think this is cool. Like or, or like like what I'm doing, and uh, and appreciate and and don't we all though? Fuck. I think like, yeah, that's it's, the it's point. Like a, yeah, that's the, like that's the that's the point. And again, this is where we lean back. Mm-hmm. Whatever we make is what we make. And it mind is, you, whatever yeah. I make is pretty dope because yeah. I'm pretty dope. And, <laughs> and and you just gotta yeah, be it, live it, and be messy with it too. Yeah, I mean the only thing that's and that's one of the things that this podcast is like really fun because I, it is a hundred percent able to be messy as hell every time because. I don't like to plan these out to be a questionnaire or like, hey, like, you know, uh, you know, what uh what what are you doing next with your business and this and that. And then sometimes those will come up organically. I go, but it also has the ability to go on tangents where we talk about something that we weren't even su- were supposed to talk about or whatever, because it's just it go, these are just talks. I go, all it was like it started off like I was like, I just want to talk to these people. Like I like talking to people. And it allows me to break out that show when I'm not able to, like, have these conversations. I can't have it, like, not normally, but normally in situations where I see, like, some of these artists or business owners, they're working or they're, you know, gigging or they're performing. I can't set them aside and, like, it's like, hey, let, let's talk. Like, I just want to pick your brain. So this is a very, like, to me, offers that that freedom for me. I'm like, oh, like, I it, – it turns into from, like, I have to do this to, like, oh, I get to do this. Like, you know, it's that thing you like you were saying at the beginning. It's like, I get to literally sit people down, and they'll talk to me about what they love. I go, Happily. for whatever, you know what I mean, for Happily. an hour. And I'm like, and this is and this is great, you know what I mean? Because like, that's one of my favorite things to listen to is to people talk about something that they're passionate about. And I'm just like – I go, I could know nothing about what you're doing, your industry is. And I'm just like, tell me. Like, and, and, and the fact that, like – those people are open to be like, yeah, you don't know about this. Uh, let me tell you all about it. I'm like, great. I was like, go for it. Compared to like the three hours of scrolling and learning all of what the fuck that would be. Yeah. There, the This is where, again, goes back to like the very important thing of like be the example. Mm-hmm. You are the example of human that is taking these mediums, right? The social media, you said, we've talked about it already, where, but you actually taking it deliberately and actually trying to put something of content, of, of quality, of, of humanity, of healing even. Whenever we all see each other and we resonate, mm-hmm. we learn something from someone that, oh shit, like I feel like that person too, you know? And, yeah. and that's the importance of this. And, and, and again, still always amazes because it's all it's always what you've always been doing oh see like ever mm-hmm. since i met you like you've always just wanted to give the message of like fuck man like we're here and yeah. this is a thing <laughs> <laughs> like we gotta do stuff and then it was always that right like it's it's all, well in general mm-hmm. in general it's I'm, i feel in general i know i feel that you might feel like this too like it's that same concept of like that yeah. we just we just want to put out and, and so and perspective is one thing that this has allowed me to have access to like so many and i'm like and and the more like the, the you know the more i've gone through life the more i value like they are there are so many other perspectives other than my own and i i cannot stop myself and only perceive things through my eye like it it is it's just not as productive as just like taking a step back and realizing like if somebody's really mad at you over something, I go, there is a reason for that. Like, you know, whether you agree with this or not, like even having a bit of just like the, the compassion and empathy to be like, let me, let at me least, address it. Let me address it. Let me listen to what you have to say. I may still not agree with it, but at least in my head, I'm like, oh, okay, this is what you think of. Now people are closed off sometimes and don't want to, you know, they don't want to keep express it? that. They want to keep that, and keep that's fine. It. Like you, you won't get that one. But just talking to people in general, like, will offer you that sort of thing. Most of the time, hearing them out, like, actually, and this is this Buga has to work on this. Mm. I, I, baby, <laughs> but but I found that while I learned to work on it, I this is this is what I have found. Where where, and I'm talking about it could be my mom. Let's see, let's grab it. We all have a mom. No. <laughs> <laughs> this one my beautiful mom 
She'll go off. She'll go right dig in. She's she's a beautiful Scorpio. I I, I say Scorpio mother is my new band, and it's gonna sound painful. Scorpio mother. Can you imagine? That's <laughs> okay. So, but she'll dig in, and she'll dig in, and she'll dig in, she'll dig in. And I found if I sit there, patience is not for them. I don't need patience for them. I need patience for me mm -hmm. to sit there. <laughs> and if I sit there, most of the time they untangle it themselves. Yeah. Well, and I'm mad at you for the things you did when you were two. And I'm like, whoa, lady. <laughs> <laughs> this one's on you. <laughs> one's... Like, you'll you'll figure it out that. eventually. Here, I'll let you I'll let you talk. I'll let, you, I'll let you sit that one. Yeah. yeah. And that that's where I'm like, okay, all right. And now I get to see, again, and, and it's perspectives, right? Yeah. I'm like, dude, dude. Absolutely. Definitely dude. something. something perspectives. That I've, perspectives. Perspectives. I think feel like that's that's a good note. To end this on, um, <laughs> gather perspectives, love create, everyone. Create you know, love. Create love. I like that. Love everyone. Be yourself. Be a human. And love humans. That's it. That's Super it. simple, right? That's pretty easy. I thought that was pretty simple. That's pretty easy to me. That was pretty simple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I appreciate you. Appreciate you a lot for letting me do you. this. I love you. I want to connect here. Mm. We didn't even get to talk about magic. We didn't. We didn't get to. That's next episode. Uh, what is it? The, the, uh, psychic barber. Psychic barber. Psychic barber. I'm showing that. I don't know if they can see that. They Anyways, see psych, psychic barber. This is ridiculous. Um. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. I love you, man. Thank, Thank you. I love you, you too. Thank you again. Privilege. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching, listening, and experiencing this. Yes. Love you. We'll see you guys next time.